Tesla is expanding its own factories. There are already two huge factories in the USA, and the factory in China has already been launched. And in this video we will talking about the factory under construction in Germany. It will be designed not only to expand the boundaries of Tesla, but also to bring some innovations to the process of production and delivery of Tesla in Europe. In June 2020, Tesla set the goal to build a Giga Berlin plant, which will take a little over one year of construction to complete and commission, and will have a 3200 acres footprint. All this thanks to the lot of technologies that Tesla uses in all of its Giga factories. The entire building structure is built using panels, which are assembled like Legos in a very short time, saving huge money on the labor. And it allows you to launch the plant in the shortest possible time. This is exactly what is happening right now at the Giga Berlin factory, which employs at least 8000 people every day. Precision of the design is the key to the success. Initially, Tesla opened its first plant in an outdated building from 1984 that was purchased from General Motors and then modernized it. With the Giga Berlin's 24-hour operation, Tesla is able to stay on the track with their construction schedule. So for example, it took Tesla only 108 days to build Giga Shanghai. I recommend you watch my video about Giga Shanghai. At the moment, the construction process of the building has already been completed and the process of setting up and painting the equipment is underway. The equipment is already at the plant and ready to be installed. Let me remind you that when Tesla Giga Berlin will launch, most of the process will be completed by automatic assembly by robots, which significantly reduce assembly time and cost, as well as increase accuracy. The factory in Giga Berlin will manufacture the Model S, 3 and Y, as well as the production of batteries for electric vehicles. Most of the robots at the Giga Berlin plant will perform the majority of assembly work and it will only be assisted by humans. Elon Musk admitted in interview that his final goal is to produce batteries and Tesla cars entirely at automated facilities. Machine will make machines, Elon Musk said. It's not a secret that Tesla is not the top quality standard for fitting parts during auto assembly but they are constantly working in this direction. The Giga Berlin plant is the part of the plant to bring Tesla products quality to the incredible level. The poor production quality is largely due to completely overload of all existing Tesla factories, which are trying to meet the market needs for the Tesla products. And the transfer of facilities to China and Germany will expand production and increase quality and efficiency. During his visit to Giga Berlin's construction site, Elon Musk was also one of the first to test its direct competitor, especially in Germany, where Volkswagen manufactures its ID4 cars built on an electric platform. Surprisingly, Elon Musk not only spoke well of Volkswagen, but also offered what he would like to see in an improved version of this rival car. Also an interesting fact, during his visit to Giga Berlin, instead of staying in luxury hotels, there was a time when Elon Musk spent the night in the Giga Berlin factory. Where do you sleep tonight? In the, in the, tonight's in the factory. This is not the first time the richest man in the world spent more than one night right at the plant under construction. Explaining this by the fact that he was so focused on the speedy implementation of the project and its launch that full immersion in process is necessary. As we can see the Tesla factory expansion process in full swing, making the Tesla number one of electric car company with incredible demand that exceed their current capacity, which Tesla is solving with their factories. Several automotive giants that have competing electric vehicles in production have also announced plans to build their own gigafactories but for unclear reasons, because none of these companies don't have the demand for their exist production like Tesla does. These other companies have unclear goals and no demand, and this is obviously very different from Tesla. And of course, we will cover the process of launch at Giga Berlin, as well as the quality of the final assembly, for which you may consider subscribing to Teslapedia, where we talk all about Tesla. Let me know what I need to improve in this Teslapedia channel in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video.